Okay, we're going to uh, hook up the uh, pump link. First we'll hook one into the pump. And uh, let's see, it goes like this. Put the other end in our link. This is your uh, basic, basically your uh, idle position with the throttles closed. Um, you'll see just that's just about the right position for it. Yours should look like that. Okay, takes 11 30 seconds wrench. Okay, and then we'll work the throttle a little bit. There you go. Okay. Alright, we're going to put an idle mixture screw and uh, we get two of them in the kit with a new spring. There's a short one and a long one. The short one will go into this carburetor which is a, a series 28 and uh, the goes into the top like that. The long one is for a series uh, 228 and uh, they go down here in the throttle body. So we'll put it in there. And uh, incidentally, on uh, the 28 series, uh, turning these in clockwise uh, causes a richer idle mixture. And on the 228, it's a leaner, it's just backwards. And I'm going to turn it in and uh, gently seat it. And then I'm going to turn out about one turn. Okay. Um, we're going to put in the uh, fuel filter plug. And uh, it should have a screen in it. You know, if, if yours, I noticed this one didn't have a screen, and it does not come in the kit. Um, I probably should add this to the uh, to my premium kit, just to make sure. the The old screens are are perfectly good as long as they're clean. Uh, hopefully, they got a fuel filter on besides because these screens aren't going to keep out a lot of the little stuff, just the bigger things. So, um, of course, it has to have a gasket on it. These things are prone to leak right here. And they'll run down around the bowl and you think the whole thing's uh, falling apart. Um, so I have had to in the past, uh, sometimes I'll take a little file and I see this one has just a little bit of residue on it. I'm going to take my flat file and uh, Okay, so these things are prone to leak right here sometimes. Um, so if it does, you can uh, take a file and make sure it's flat, make sure there's no residue on it. You get a new gasket in the kit, you want to be sure and use that. Um, in uh, your filter here, uh, if you need one of these, uh, I can uh, provide it.
Now I just run these back and forth a little bit and make sure it seats good because I know they're, they're good for leaking there. And even when I test it it may leak and I'll have to do this with some more. And sometimes they got to go on pretty tight. Anyway, just be aware of that. That's where they tend to seep out sometimes. And that's pretty much it for your uh, Zenith 28.